People on the right absolutely lost their shit over this because Bud Light partnered with a trans woman. John Oliver is blasting Budweiser's response to the recent backlash over its partnership with trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney. At the beginning of April, Mulvaney, who has more than 10.8 million followers on social media, posted a video showing her opening a can of Bud Light with the hashtag Bud Light Partner. This month I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. But the partnership quickly drew negative comments from right-winged critics who claimed they were angry about the world going woke. Oliver went into depth about the controversy on last week tonight saying people on the right absolutely lost their shit over this. The last week tonight host went on to play a video of singer-songwriter Kid Rock who posted on social media of him shooting at Casey of Bud Light with a rifle, which Oliver criticized. Because if there's one thing that hurts a company, it's destroying their product after it's already been purchased. The host then noted that the real nastiness was the moral panic around trans rights, coming at the same time that anti-LGBTQ laws are being passed in several states, including some prohibiting gender-affirming care for minors. Oliver said that the company Anheuser-Busch did release a statement saying in part, we never intended to be a part of a discussion that divides people. We are in the business of bringing people together over a beer. And it is pretty annoying to be both sides in something when the two sides are, I am trans and that makes me so mad, I'm gonna shoot $65 worth of non-refundable beer. Oliver's thoughts on the controversy also come a day after the Associated Press reported that the marketing executive who oversaw the partnership between Bud Light and Mulvaney is taking a leave of absence. For more on this story, head to THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep watching The Hollywood Reporter News.